Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here, one and only, and today we're going to be playing Robo Thorium. Now, this is an indie game I found on Game Jolt, and this is the demo, by the way, but the link is down in the description if you guys want to try out the game. Let's get started. It's been a while since I played the indie game, and I've actually been trying to search for one. No face cam today, because I keep forgetting to charge my lights. So from what I've seen, it has a tag of road light. So I was like, oh, finally, another road light I can try out. Actually looking forward to it. Okay. All right, Sarah, what you got for me? You can hurry up and get out of here. There's some idling robots. Should be lying around the room. Oh, so we get to choose who you want. Okay. So ride is defense, I'm guessing. Um, what's the difference between these two? Oh, this one gets shield and structure, which is pretty much HP and shield. This is HP and defense. You know, it doesn't change anything up here. I'm gonna take this one. Selected. Oh, what's this one? This one's War. So he's pretty much the balance class out of everybody. This one's the Healer, I'm guessing. We'll take him. And we got Zerker. He has Speed and Regeneration. The Scout has Power and Speed. Uh, he has really high attack, but really crappy defense. A fighter or a scout? I'm gonna go scout. My whole team's gonna be pretty much low damage, but somewhat defensive. Hopefully he blocks all the damage in there, just only attack him. Takes the time to look around. Scanning your surroundings should be easy. T should it be an easy task? Oh, I can move. Okay, you can interact with elements throughout action. Oh. What the hell is that? Close the cannon. Okay, so you can equip things to your uh, robots. Okay. That's dope. All your items are gathered inside of the inventory. Alright, so you... It's pretty much like any other road, like where you can lose, lose like certain things or gain certain things. Uh, the weapons are at random. Okay, that's the good old road likes that I know. I don't want to give it to the scout. Oh, I can't put this on you. They can only go on you. Okay. So these guys have different skills as well.
Alright, this is going to be interesting to figure out all these. So I can give an, an ally back his shield. Has a chance of applying stun. Oh, protects an ally and provokes an enemy. Okay, this is a good thing I actually chose him. Now let's go up. Some actions allow you to... Some actions allow you to unveil unexplored rooms to get special bonuses. It's a good thing I didn't use face cam on this game. There's so many things that pop up everywhere. We are hacking pros. No password can resist us. I mean, you're not wrong. If I can hack it or destroy it, uh, let's hack it. So does he join us or? Okay, so this is the map, Legends. We're about so right here. Oh, this is where they entered. This is our goal. It's right there. So what was up here then? Was that just a room to go around? Yeah, that wasn't anything important. Neutralize him as in take him out of the game. No worries. Select a single fighter. Target line. Oh, okay. Most skills generate overload. Okay. Basic attacks of each robot reduces overload. He is stunned and unable to protect itself. Okay. That makes sense. That makes sense. Go ahead and provoke you. Oh, geez, I'm gonna need you to calm down. So, what does that do? Oh, reduces damage taking. Okay, cool. We're gonna stun this guy. Surprise, they're reduced by 50. All right, we're gonna take him out. the overload. Okay, I think we're going to use basics for now. I know my shields. Ah, that's one. This game's actually pretty interesting so far. Give him 
getting their shield back. So they started taking damage to their HP is what I'm seeing afterwards. Sorry, I'm increasing your damage taken. That seems like really nice. Oh my god, yeah, that's really nice. Increasing his damage taken is like amazing. He seems like they got a special move too. Okay, so this is our overlord overload meter. The little yellow one. At least that's what I'm guessing. Yeah, can you stop healing over there? Oh, well then, okay. <laughs> the scout just knifed the crap out of him. This game's actually pretty cool from like its combat. It would definitely take a while to get used to. Oh. That's annoying. So traps can just <laughs> damage the hell out of you no matter what. Okay, we can give this guy this. Does that actually change his look? Uh, I don't think it does. If it actually changed the, like, your robot's look, that would be amazing. Oh, we found some more enemies. But now that we know what to do, we should be good. So let's aim for this guy first. Alright, so where is everybody's overlord at? Oh dear god. Chill. Protect him. I should be careful. Alright. Go try to get the stun. Got the stun on him at least. Uh, we're gonna have to normal attack him. I definitely recommend the try out this game. It's pretty neat. Especially if you're, if you're like into RPGs. This is the RPG um, roguelike. Is what I saw on Game Jolt. I'm pretty sure they're going to try and work towards getting this on Steam. I'll definitely see if I can grab either a key from them or... See how much it's gonna be. Cause I would definitely play this on stream. Oh, his shield came back. Stop it. Okay, so we got a different gun now. Oh, so you can level up their skills too. Okay, cool. Uh, talents. Oh, you can get new ones. Or add on different abilities to it. Huh. Corrosive, huh? I think I'm gonna... I want to increase the stun chance. Let's 
think I'm going to put it in there. As for you, what do you have? Shield regen. There's a chance of removing one penalty. Reduce healing. Just to apply a random bonus. Okay, the repairer is not that bad. I think I'm going to take this though, because that seems interesting. Now, what do you have? Since you're our damage dealer. Spread ammo has a chance to spread penalties to additional enemy. I think I'm going to go with this. So I'm guessing this is crit. Yeah, that is crit. Don't want his speed to go down too much, so I'm going to give it to this guy. I'm going to give him these shoes, too. And that's all I can give them, I'm pretty sure. Alright, which way should we go? Oh yeah, this is the objective. You and your robots are safe here. Welcome to the secret rebel base. So this is all the loot we got? Okay, nice. So when you get out like successfully, you get some random loot. I'm pretty sure you can just travel anywhere you want. Put on his frames. His bottom. Alright, what about you? Oh, this is your weapon? That, incre that decreases your speed, though. But that damage not half bad. Compared to everybody else, he still outspeeds them. So I'm not too down on that. Uh, he got his helmet and his shoulder. Okay. Neat. Alright, go back. Oh, you can rename them too. I'm going to rename this one Bob. Don't judge my names. You can sell them, and I'm guessing you can buy new ones at the black market or workshop. So I'm wondering how far this goes. I think we're going to finish this stage, and we'll end it there. It looks pretty cool. Alright. Alright, so we got two ways. I'm gonna go down. Uh, forward. Got to go back. Just to make sure we can access it. Either. Or anything. Okay, that trap already activated, so we already been hit by it. 
Alright, we get to see some cooler enemies. Oh, jeez. Okay. Is that how we're gonna start this off? Oh jeez, okay. Well then. Actually, we're gonna focus on this guy. No stuns? So that's what happened. He overheated. He's almost out. Now that he's out of the way, we can focus on this guy. Almost out. Oh, why am I not using the uh, number pad? Would that work? Yeah, number pad works too. Our shields are just fine right now. Gonna try and stun. There we go. Yeah, now we're all back at full shield. What are you gonna do now? Okay, you can stop. Jeez. Alright, so we got some new stuff. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Let's go see. Oh, so it even tells me who can use what. I did not realize that. Oh, so that's his gadget. So he gets extra damage now. Versus what we did have. Well, it goes up by a little. But if I was to put this back on him. We get quite a bit more. I'm going to go with that. Just for now. Just, just for now. Thank, thank you. Ooh, gather. Oh, well, well, I'm not really interested in the story at the moment. Especially if it can be a, like a placeholder. If it's a placeholder story, I'm not really interested. Okay. So we need to go back this way. Oh, what the hell? Oh, so we got her now? Okay, sick! You can actually get other robots on your uh, way. Oh, that's dope. Hold on. Can I change their formation? Yes, I can, actually. What does she do? 
cooling, so she lowers um, reload. So she's basically a support. Damage transfer. Okay, that's actually pretty dope. Hold on. I think I'm gonna actually take that instead. Do I, can I put it? Yeah, I can. Give her that. I thought she changed something at first. But she was just bouncing up and down. Each time I like change something. Down. What's in here? Oh, there was enemies either way. Jeez. Seems like it gets more and more hefty. Uh, I think the max you can have is probably five. Pull down the back and give them okay. Increase their damage. Let's go ahead and try it for the stun. And it didn't go off well. Alright, we're gonna put this on this dude now. So do we send all damage to him is what I'm getting at? If that's the case, she's really useful. Alright, now that guy's out. Give you your shield back. Oh, so it splits up the damage. Okay, cool. So anytime they have a penalty on them, I can spread it towards other enemies. That's what it was. I just can't get my stun, man. I mean, it is a 25% chance, so I can understand that. Him. Uh, just normal attack until I get my overlord overload down. Oh, so you can change. robot's actually pretty cool. He has some, a lot of useful things. And I didn't even realize they had a healer. Oh, so you can right click and see what status effects and what attacks they have. Okay, I didn't realize that until now.
Alright, so I wanted to see what Overload did. Oh, so that means, like, she's gonna take a lot of damage. Hold on. Go ahead and protect her. So even the enemies go overload too. Alright, she's good. She's back. I kind of wish you didn't kill him, because I wanted to try something out. Didn't get this done. Jeez. Go ahead and give him stock. <laughs> Look at all those effects. Targeted by a drone. So I'm guessing our drone hit him. That would make sense. But that means the drone has its own special properties too. So you're basically dealing extra damage with the scout. Okay. This game has something going for it. I'm definitely taking this and putting that up. As for you, here you go, buddy. Wait. I wish there was like a compare page too. Alright, we're gonna go down here. And try to hack this. Wait, is this the way out? Okay, no. Actually, I think this is where we need to go. Yeah, we'll be nice. We'll spare him. Uh, he wants us to get, to uh, kill him. All right, so it is on Steam, guys. Uh, that's basically it. Okay, cool. Try the game yourself, and I'm gonna go see on Steam when is this like supposed to release? I'm pretty sure this is like an old demo too. Um, let's go check. Actually, it turns out this game has already been released. It's $15, which is, geez. It is in early access. Apparently, it's supposed to have online multiplayer and cross-platform as well. It has mixed reviews at the moment. I don't know what their mixed reviews are about, but I look forward to seeing what it'll do in the future. If I do get a key, I'm definitely going to do... Oh, hold on. Hold that thought. This is the same people who made um, Dungeon Rushers. I tried to cover that game on the channel, but it wouldn't work for some reason. But I'll try and cover it another day because that game is kind of like... Um, it's kind of like The Darkest Dungeon. That's what it was. It was kind of like The Darkest Dungeon. But yeah, guys, I will see you guys on the next video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Try out the game yourselves. Link is down in the description. Peace out. What you got to lose?